Hi guys, it's Olga and for today's lunch, we're going to recreate Chipotle's burrito bowl. Who else is excited as I am? If you don't know what Chipotle is, it's basically a Mexican grilled fast food restaurant and they serve a lot of burritos, burrito bowls, salads. They're known for using natural and organic ingredients. I get a lot of questions all the time asking me how do I eat out and still maintain my diet, what places do I like to go to? So Chipotle is definitely one of the places that I like. Unfortunately, there are not a lot of Chipotles where I live. And one day when I was craving it, I decided to just make it at home. It turned out amazing and way cheaper and right away I knew I have to share this on my channel. So here we are, let's get started. There are a few steps in making the chipotle burrito bowl. Step number one is to prepare the cilantro lime rice. You will need rice, I'm using brown rice today, bay leaves, sea salt, cilantro, lemon juice and lime juice. Cook the rice according to the instructions on the package. Before water starts to boil, add bay leaves and salt. Since brown rice takes about 40 minutes to cook, we're going to prepare the beans and veggies while we wait. So step two is to make garlic beans. You can use black beans or pinto beans. These are canned beans, but I made sure to get the BPA free canned, so don't worry. You will also need garlic, oregano, cumin and some chipotle pepper and a little bit of salt. You're going to combine all ingredients in a small pot and heat over medium heat. To make this recipe, I actually went on Chipotle's website and found out how they prepare their ingredients. So this is very close to what you would get at one of their restaurants. Once you warm up the beans and all ingredients are well combined, the beans are ready. Let's move on to step number three and make the veggies. You will need green pepper, red pepper, red onion, oregano, a bit of grapeseed oil, salt, pepper and a few red pepper flakes. They don't actually add them at Chipotle, but I like the extra heat that they give to the veggies. I went ahead and cut all the vegetables into strings. Heat oil in a skillet and add red onion. You're going to saute it for 2-3 to three minutes. Then add pepper and continue cooking on medium heat for 5 minutes. Once your veggies are starting to become soft, add the seasoning and cook for a couple more minutes. Veggies are done. By this point, your rice should also be ready. Fluff it with a fork and remove the bay leaves. Then place it in a large bowl and combine with cilantro, lemon juice and lime juice. Mix everything well. And the rice is done. Chipotle has a lot of different toppings you can add to your burrito bowl. I'm just going to show you a few of them. I really like adding some fresh salsa. I already have a recipe for homemade salsa on my channel. I will leave a link for it in the description for you. Of course, you can't make a burrito without guacamole, which I absolutely love. Again, you can find the recipe for my version of guacamole in the description of this video. I'm also going to be adding some shredded lettuce and vegan mozzarella cheese. To be honest, I don't buy vegan cheese very often. I try to stick to eating mostly whole foods but for the sake of this video i went ahead and got some so now that you have all of your components ready we can finally assemble our burrito bowl i even saved one of chipotle's containers for this video yeah there isn't really any science in how you place the ingredients the best part of making it yourself is that you can put as much or as little of each component this recipe does take quite a while to prepare but trust me it is so worth it. I love the combination of all the flavors in this dish and you can definitely make multiple burrito bowls and keep them in the fridge to have for lunch or dinner during the week. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just taking a few of my medium fab lunch containers and making a few more burrito bowls. As always, I will have all measurements and directions for this recipe posted for you on my website at fablunch.com. And you can see I didn't put guacamole or cheese in a few bowls because I'm going to have those later in the week. Thank you so much for watching. Really hope that you guys enjoy this video. All my burrito lovers, give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can do so by clicking the button down below so you get notified whenever I post a new recipe. I love you guys very much. I hope you're having a beautiful day and enjoying the summer. I will see you in my next video. Bye!